Hello, this is Dave McW, and welcome to my tutorial on recording Civ 5 games. If you haven't already, you should pause this video and download the three files I've linked Xvid Codec, Chem Studio, and Virtual Dub. Alright, now that you've downloaded them, you can go ahead and install. No, I don't like automatic updates. And I already have a video player I like, so I'm not going to associate this with any files. Xvid successfully installed. Now install Cam Studio. Now I don't want the cam codec because I'm going to be using xvid codec. And finally install virtual dub. Virtual dub doesn't have an installer, so you just right click and say extract all. Okay, now to configure Cam Studio. Civ 5 is not translucent, so I'm going to uncheck this and hopefully save a little processing power. Don't want to play the AVI when, when recording stops. directory for recording. I will pick one. Name of API file a medic. Okay, audio always select record audio from microphone because that's where Cam Studio expects it to be. You can go to audio options for microphone to change that, those settings. So if you're a mic you have a microphone, you want to select microphone here. If you're recording from speakers, you want stereo mix. Now some computers don't come with stereo mix pre-installed. You can check by going to control panel sound and recording. Make sure stereo mix is here. If you don't see stereo mix here, you should upgrade your audio drivers. So I'll select stereo mix. And finally video options. I'm going to select our XVID codec. Bump up the quality a bit. And XVID home is my favorite setting. It's a good balance of file size and quality. Make sure you go to other options and uncheck display encoding status. That makes an annoying pop-up window. I, would, I don't want. And for XVID codec you always want fixed region because if you ha have an odd if you accidentally select a region and put it, it's an odd number of width or height, it'll give you an annoying error message. So don't do that. Now my screen resolution is 1280 by 20, 1024. So that's the numbers I'm going to put in here. Actually, I play Civ 5 in windowed mode, so I'm going to chop 24 pixels off to get rid of the window title bar. And these are so th these are my uh, standard rec recording settings. So if you've done everything right, you can uh, hit the red, red circle to start recording. 
and oh, I, I don't like this flashing rectangle turn that off to hide flashing rectangle okay so when you can pause recording and resume and when you're done hit you hit stop and the file will show up in the recording folder you specified. One drawback to using Kim Studio is it can only handle files up to two gigabytes. There's a helpful option to automatically stop recording after so many seconds to avoid running into the two gigabyte limit. It, at these settings you get about one gigabyte per hour, so 72 hour, 7200 seconds or two hours is about the max you should go for. If you do run over the limit and the file gets corrupted, for example, my Game of the Month 25 Part 4 is 2.3 gigabytes and it's corrupted in the operating system can't read the length. The solution to that is to open virtual dub, open the file, and it will rebuild the index, give you some warnings, and go to select video, direct stream copy so it doesn't have to reprocess anything and just save it again when it's done you can check your video and see that the operating system can read the length again and it's repaired. Kim Studio has a couple hotkeys that conflict with Civ 5. F8 is the play pause hotkey so if you want to check your victory progress you have to click the info button and select it with your mouse. More dangerously F10 is the hotkey to delete the video you're currently recording so if you want to strategic view, be sure to use the button for that too. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful.